I know this is a broken record, ladies and gentlemen. But um, as many of you guys may know, and for those of you who are new to the channel, you may not know the good doc is in the education system. I am a teacher. I consider myself to be an educator. And one of the things that I recognized long ago, but I think is more relevant now than ever because this particular video needs to be made, is the simple fact that these young ladies in these schools are fast-ass little women. The majority of them are some fast-ass girls. I can remember on day one, ladies and gentlemen, I shit you not, on day one, I mistaken a student for a teacher by the way that they dressed and the way that they conducted themselves. Come to find out, baby girl was fucking 14. I'm thinking, oh my God, this is a problem. And I think this is even a bigger problem for my gentlemen abroad. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know that you want to try to date the 18s and the 19 years old and things like that in the country, but you damn sure better make sure that they 18 or 19 years of age because I promise you this, just as fast as these young ladies are in the United States, they can be just as fast in the Philippines, especially when they're trying to attract themselves a foreigner. Now, here's the crazy part about it. Sometimes it's the parents and the mama and the girlfriends and friends and stuff like that in their ears saying, go for him, go for him, knowing that you a grown-ass man and knowing she's a young-ass girl, they'll still probably tell them to go after you. So you may think you're all good. You may ask the young lady in casual conversation how old she is, and she'll come out and say 18, right? Because, you know, 18 is legal age. I mean, there's this very loose fine line between age of consent in the Philippines. I don't think that necessarily applies to foreigners, but that's another topic for another day. I want to say that age of consent is 12 or 16. I can't remember, but then again, let's not get into that particular topic of conversation here. I'm more so speaking to guys who want to date women of age, right? It is very imperative that you do more than just ask what her age is. You have got to do your own due diligence. I one time had a young lady tell me she was 18, come to find out she was 16. The reason I was able to find out was because I knew a relative, a family member, it was a cousin, because me and her cousin went to school together. And I only found that out later on. And, you know, I asked her, I don't know what question I asked. I think I asked what year was her cousin born? Like when I was having a conversation, I said, like, what year was she born? And she told me the year. And if you aged her out, she aged out to be 16, not 18. So basically, she was on the cusp of 16 turning 17, not 17 turning 18, as I previously thought, or the fact that I thought that she was 18. So, gentlemen, I encourage you to do your due diligence <laughs> just to keep yourself on the up and up, right? Just to keep yourself on the up and up. Now, I don't want to get into the topic of conversation of dating underage females because I think that is another topic for another day and probably for somebody on another channel. But you, it, it, it shouldn't be something that surprises you if a girl's going to lie about her age because she'll probably lie about a lot of other shit, especially in a place like the Philippines. Again, if you are looking to attract yourself a foreigner, you do not want to say anything that is going to deter him from wanting to choose you. Gentlemen, if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, tell me I'm right. A Filipina don't want to do anything to hurt her chances of getting with you. And sometimes if a foreigner knows that a Filipina is younger than the age of the majority or the technical age of majority, it could pose a problem for this guy choosing her or, you know, maybe there's a two-year lapse that he's going to wait and that's kind of like something that may or may not happen and, you know, it's a whole situation, right? But, you know, there comes a time in every man's life where you're faced with, you know, what to do in certain situations, like, you want to believe a person at their word, but sometimes there's certain key indicators and things that you are noticing that is making it very, very difficult for you to trust somebody at their word. So again, if you are having a hard time trying to figure out if a girl is of age or not, you better ask questions. You better see ID, right? You better get the ID card or some type of school ID or whatever it is that has 
accurate information and accurate dates of birth. A lot of foreigners aren't aware of this, but I'm going to just go ahead and throw it out there for you because if you're not aware of it, this probably will happen to you because I think it's happened to just about every foreigner that I'm aware of. You'll have these girls run up on you on the street. Right? Hello, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, ho. Hey, Joe. Whatever. You know, the ones that will run up on you. And you'll look at them and you'll kind of get the idea that maybe it's just an interaction for fun. Maybe there's a transaction that is probably looking to be involved. I mean, there's a whole many, there's a whole different way that you can take it. But I'm very wary of any girl that is aggressive towards how they come at me, right? And the reason I am very wary is because I don't know what your true intent is. And because I don't know your true intent, I often back away and decline. You could just want to get it in. You could just want to have fun. But because I don't know you like that <laughs> and because um, I'm not willing to put myself in a position and or a situation that could potentially get my black ass in trouble, I'll fall back. And it happens more often than not. I've probably turned away very, very attractive women more often than I probably wish that I could only because I didn't know true intent. You know, when I get nervous and I start to look around and I start to feel like, man, maybe, just maybe, this isn't a situation that I should involve myself in, I'll back off. And foreigners, I think you need to take that particular information into consideration. When they running up on you, trying to get your attention, hey, Joe, hey, Joe, what's up, Joe? You want to hang out, Joe? Want to have some fun, Joe? I got a place we can go, Joe. <laughs> when you start hearing that shit, and I'm fucking with y'all, but when you start hearing that shit, you just got to be a little careful, man. It's 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 scary out there, man. Like, to think that somebody could be out there trying to set you up. Because Lord knows, you do not want to have your face plastered all over Philippine TV for dealing with underage girls. Whoo! <laughs> you do not, I repeat, do not want to have your face plastered all over the TV in the Philippines with you dealing with underage females, man. It's not a good look, you know? It's not a good look. You have to learn to navigate accordingly, right? You have to learn to do your due diligence. I understand it's fun, and some guys just like them young and whatever. Like, you know, you like them in the 18 range, and, you know, it can be very confusing, again, because... Women in the United States and women in the Philippines damn sure are looking a whole lot older now in 2021 on the cusp of 2022 than they did probably back when we was kids or when we was in high school. And I know I'm aging myself a little bit and granted some of them look grown then but they had certain features about themselves that you could tell yeah she still got that baby face. So granted her body look grown, <laughs> you know, she's still a child or some shit, you could tell that shit, like, when I was at high school, you know, you could tell girls I was at high school, right, you know, but nowadays, shit be scary, because of how differently built girls are now in the 2020s than they were probably back in the day, all right, scary, scary, and gentlemen, when you are traveling abroad, and you are overseas, I'm telling you right now, if you want to avoid any trouble, it is in your best interest to do your own due diligence, all right? This has been a good doc, trying to drop some gems on y'all. I just wanted to have a little fun, but I definitely wanted to encourage you guys to read a little bit into the situation. Sometimes you can't take uh, words at face value, okay? And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. All of my good stuff listed in link in the description area below, ebooks. Patreon, you already know what it is. If you want to drop a heart, a couple dollars on the good dots books, there's a heart there. It says thank you. Highly appreciate that one if you enjoyed the video. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my time. It's been your boy the good dot dot the mighty TV. And, and you know what time it is? Time for the good boy, the good doc to go and get the kid. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the good doc is officially out. I at least not go alum, which means I am going now. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. My hockey back. Before I end, that girl that told me she was like turning 18 or something or was 18 and was 16, I think I've never cried harder in my life than I, when I had to just let that go. I, I got to tell you that because it was a...
it was a bad beat, bro. <laughs> and I just wasn't ready to deal with any ramifications that would come with any act that I, you know, any of that shit. It just wasn't, it was not a good look. Even though at the time I may have been like 18, 19 or something like that, it just was not worth it. So I cried myself to sleep at night because I had to say, it's a no-go, bro. It's a no-go, bro. <sighs> Probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had to go through in the Philippines. But I'd rather be, I'd rather be good than be bad. All right, y'all take care, man. Doc is out. Peace.